Hi, I'm Asha Bullington, and welcome back for another season of The Warm Up. This week, we're getting ready to kick off the 2021 season and a new format for The Warm Up, as well as a new studio. We're going to check out some of the dark horse teams that you should keep on your radar for the 2021 season, watch a battle throw down, and more. Let's get you warmed up. I'll have to say, I am pretty excited to be back for another season of The Warm Up. You get to see all of the best teams to watch on Saturday on Inside High School Sports. So here on the warm-up, our lineup features the 2021 dark horses of the area that you need to keep your eye on. Okay, so first up, we have the Garland Owls. The Owls took second place in District 96A in the 2020 season, and they are looking to take the title in 2021. The Owls had a 4-3 and three district record last year and a 5-4 and four overall record. The Owls have returning talent everywhere, including experienced starting quarterback Sergio Perez, wide receiver Jordan Hudson, and running back Jay Sean Powers, and defensive back Chase Biddle. This will give the Owls more than their fair share of D1 firepower and look for them to battle for that title. If head coach Danny Russell has his way, he'd like it to be known as the Garland District. Okay, next up we have the McKinney Boyd Broncos, who took a big step in their second year under head coach Joe McBride, as they qualified for the playoffs for the first time since 2014, following their fourth place finish in District 5-6A. Boyd should be formidable once again. They have a defense that is loaded with experience, led by Ethan Waslowski and Jimmy Fax. The Broncos could be the fourth playoff team in this district, but they could also surprise us all when it's said and done. Those are some great teams to look out for in the 2021 season. And we'll be previewing some of the bigger juggernauts from around the Metroplex on Inside High School Sports Saturday at 6.30 p.m. on NBC5. Now it's time to have a showdown as we bring on the one, the only, Professor Diggs to take on our Inside High School Sports producer, Ward Fasold, and our new segment, The Battle. Okay, so I have Matt Diggs, the Professor Diggs, and Ward Fasold on with me for the first ever segment of the battle and these guys started a twitter war earlier guys don't want to carry it on to the warm-up i'm more than willing to carry it on man this guy ain't got nothing on me well, well the problem with carrying it on is we'd have to put maybe your washington football team jersey on and i don't know if you can carry that kind of psychological baggage given what your your favorite teams have psychologically damaged you with but i'm oh, here sure to be the light at the end of your tunnel to show you the way and Ward. That, that light is a train. Okay, it? okay, okay, okay. Let's actually put our money where our mouth is right now and let's play some trivia. Okay. okay, so this first question, whoever can get the closest, I will allow the point to go to. Okay. So approximately how many Texas high school football players are there in the UIL and six man football? I would say around 156,000. Okay. Diggs is gonna do like prices That's right in here. Yeah, I'm gonna, I, I think that number is higher because we got about 1,100 schools. I would say you got about 80 to 200. So I'm gonna say 156,001. Look at this dude. He's prices right. Well, Dix is the closest. That's such a price is right. It's 167,428 students. There you go. That was a great guess, Ward, but that was just too low. Too low. All right. Okay. Who is the Texas high school most winningest coach? That's GA Moore. Football. Yeah. We just got that one. Good job. Wow. That was quick, too. Hey! I was seconds away from saying Randy Allen. But... I, I, I would have gone with Gordon Wood if you would have asked me. Okay. For a second. Wait. So, which running back owns the Metroplex record for career rushing yards with 10,889? Jonathan Gray. Yes, sir. You got that Alito bias going on here. You keep trying to wait to do a Price is Right deal. You worked for you the first time. You better start spitting some answers out here, buddy. Well, boy. She said running back. I was thinking Eric Dickerson, and then uh, all of a sudden she goes local and. Yeah. So, what team snapped their 77 game losing streak last, last year? Extra point if you can give me the winning score. It was. It wasn't, it was one of the, it was a Fort Worth ISD school, I think. Had the 
wasn't it wasn't Diamond Hill. Was it Diamond Hill Jarvis that got oh, there? Oh, Dixie got a point. Or uh, Dixie got a point. I think he did. And so they got Diamond Hill. Who they beat, you think? Well, hell, since you said Diamond Hill, let me jump in here. No, you got you to give the score. What was the final score? Or the score. The final score. Uh, 20 to 7. 16 to 13. 40 to 12, boys. 40 there you go, 12. Diamond Hill. Dang. Wait, so. That's it, Diamond Hill. We love you, Diamond Hill. One, two. One, two. Oh, no. The right We're not down. doing prices right. We're doing Jeopardy style. Done, done, done. Okay. I'm sure he's going to cut himself and write it in his hand. Okay. I I'm ready. Okay. How many miles is the Earth to the moon? Jiminy, Jason. <laughs> oh. Okay. Wow. This uh, is an easel question, isn't it? The, the high school football world. Apparently, we needed a have our quality UIL education. Can I go okay. over? Let's see, if you go over your own. I put up a million. I got, I got That's 256. Right. What's right? 256? Well, yo, this went over, but he's definitely the closest. It's 238,855 miles. I was only off by 20,000, come on. Another loss. My Charlie Brown Four. year continues. Thanks for putting his money where Way to go, Diggs. Thank you. Thank you, team. Great job, guys. Thanks for having us on. Well, that was a real battle. Thank y'all for coming on with me here on the warm up. I cannot wait to see what all you guys have to bring for the Texas high school football season. Now it's time for a little hype action as we dive into some players to watch in our segment, The Hype. <laughs> Caleb Tejada has been on the scene for what seems like a decade, but the Grapevine senior running back is looking to have quite the encore season. Tejada rushed for 1,218 yards and 15 touchdowns last year, and has accumulated almost 2,000 in his career. He's a small back at 5'7", but if he gets in the open field, it's trouble. Without an experienced quarterback this year, look for Tejada to carry the load for the Mustangs. Keller Timber Creek received a nice surprise when running back Emeka Megwa transferred in from Nolan Catholic. The new tailback is considered one of the best rushers in the state. As a Viking, Megwa ran for 730 yards and 12 touchdowns, and also scored two more touchdowns in the passing game. Megwa has plenty of offers, including Washington, Alabama, and Auburn. Davon Campbell of Arlington Bowie is the best player in District 8 6A. Campbell is already predicted to be a first round NFL draft pick as he is one of the top linemen in the country. He's six foot four and 310 pounds with heavy hands and solid athleticism all over the field. Campbell is excellent with his pulling ability and when he gets to the second level, defensive backs won't go down. Now it's time for everyone's favorite part of the warmup, the extra point. Well, it's not the extra point anymore. It's actually now the buzz where we see what's buzzing from the world of social media. First up, the news that broke the internet. South Lake Carroll's Quinn Ewers has decided that he is just going to graduate from high school and go on to college. He cited that being able to profit off his name, image, and likeness went into his decision. And if you thought Taylor Swift could break the internet, Quinn Ewers might have destroyed it. Gunter went viral recently as this sixth grade PE class has better form than me. <laughs> This clip has over half a million likes and millions of views. Seriously, those kids are lifting with better form than some college athletes I know. Remember those hot days under the sun? Well, I remember them. And they're in the form of two a days from college soccer. But for y'all, it might be different. Well, the Grand Prairie Gophers showed off one of my personal least favorite ways to cool off and recover ice baths. But look at their faces, it's priceless. That's all we have for this week's episode. To stay up to date with all things inside high school sports, follow our social media accounts. We have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. By following those, we will get you ready for the highlight of the sports weekend, Inside High School Sports, Saturday at 6.30 p.m. on NBC5, hosted by Pat Doney. Thank you for watching the warm-up. We are so excited to be back for another season. I'm Ashley Bullington, and I'll see you next time.